welcome to the Save the Scrappers Community Support Rally. You know, people talk a lot about uh, brick and mortar retail and the challenges uh, that it's faced in recent years. And what we have continued, and it, the success of Eastwood Mall Complex is in part due to the fact that we're not just about shopping. There's shopping, there's dining, and <clears throat> most importantly, in today's environment, there's entertainment. And it's hard to argue that Eastwood Field is not probably the, the best, most affordable entertainment uh, for, for any family during the summer season. And, uh, you know, if, if the scrappers uh, were no longer here, uh, it definitely would have a, a very detrimental impact on, on the community as a whole. Um, and it is today, you know, a very uh, driving factor as to why uh, Eastwood Mall Complex continues to be successful. For our kids to be able to see that caliber of talent here in Niles and then watch them progress into the major leagues is important for us. I think the economic impact is going to be something that's significant, but it's also the quality of life. It's about, you know, you want to attract business to your community. You want young people to stay in your community. You need things like a uh, minor league baseball team because that, you know, gives people something to do in the summertime after work and go over and, you know, have a few beers and watch some baseball. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. By the end of next week, we will have completed an economic impact analysis that will show the importance of the scrappers to this local community. The economic impact analysis will show a wide array of uh, impact that the scrappers have on the local economy. So everything from the amount of taxes paid to the different governments to how much local businesses uh, generate uh, revenue from doing uh, work associated with the scrappers, everything from uh, direct work at the stadium to uh, being part of the supply chain to restaurants and hotels, etc., who uh, experience profits because of the crowds that the scrappers attract. We, we wanted to come up here together because there are issues that face our community that aren't about being a Democrat, aren't about being a Republican, but are about helping our community. And this happens to be one of them. This has a bipartisan coalition, not just here in Ohio, but across the country. And I think that's going to have a really big impact. And look, Major League Baseball uh, receives a lot of advantages in this country. And they get a lot of benefits. And the public builds their stadiums. And they have an antitrust uh, exemption. And all of these things. So we're just saying, hey, wait a minute, don't, you know, you know, pigs get fat, hogs get slaughtered. Like, let's take it easy here and remember these communities that are the real feeder system to uh, Major League Baseball. Our 100% of our focus is on what can be done, uh, what type of support we can rally at every level to make certain that the scrappers stay here, that the scrappers and their affiliation with the Cleveland Indians remains. And um, that is all that we're focused about. BusinessJournalDaily.com, three minutes with is brought to you by I want to retire knowing we did it right. We want to know that it's been worth something. It's worth everything. Be intentional about your worth. Farmers National Bank Wealth Management. 